Dear human, I am talking to you as a human. It does not matter whether you're Christian, Jew, Buddhist, or Hindu. It does not matter whether you are a worshiper of idols, atheist, religious, secularist, a man, or a woman. I talk and address you as a human. Have you ever stopped and asked yourself one day the reason why you believe in what you believe in? Have you ever thought about the reason for which you chose the religion you practice? If you are a Christian, have you ever thought why you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way for eternal salvation? Does salvation require the crucifixion of the godly prophet? Does God need to sacrifice himself to redeem others? Do you really believe that your God is not one and that they are three, such as a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? How come one entity is three entities at the same time? According to what church or point of view? What is the proof to that? Is the Bible really the Word of God? Is all of it the Word of God? Did it remain the same over time without any change like addition or omission? Which apostle of Jesus should his book and life be followed and why? Did you really ask yourself these questions or some of them? What is the fate of one who opposes and why? What is the position of the Christian who follows another church for you? Have you ever asked what are the only principles through which you can decide which beliefs are right and worthy of following? What are the measures? How to agree regarding them? You who believe in Judaism, have you ever stopped and thought, what are the right foundations of faith and why do you have them in your belief while others do not have them? Why should the center of your faith be to believe that God, Jehovah, or Elohim, is only for you. Why do you believe in him thinking that he made a sin and that he still cries because of feeling guilty until now? Can the one who cries, regrets and wails be a God? What is the proof of your faith? Is the Torah agreed upon by all sects of the Jews? Do you even all agree upon the definition of the Jew? Is the promise of God only given to the Jews? Why is that? What is the fate of the other Jewish sects that do not agree with you? Also, what is the fate of other religions for you? You who believe in Hinduism, are you sure that the right and acceptable shape of the cycle of life is reincarnation? Is this acceptable for all the people? What is the fate of those who do not believe in it? Is the emotional feeling the right way to measure faith? Is your holy book void of any addition or omission? You who believe in Buddhism, do you really have the proof that Buddha is the Son of God and the Savior of humanity from all their miseries and pains, that he carries all their sins, and he will be back to relieve the world of all the evils and sins? You who claim that you do not believe in God, who created you? Who made you from nothing? Why are you created? So, you are born and then you die and become forgotten? Do you like to live in such state? Every human has to believe in some power to return to regarding the method of his life and to look up to in case of fear and upon death. My brother in humanity, you are so sure of your faith. You know that it is the true religion, and anything else is false. All the other religions are wrong. So, you are ready to bet with your immortal spirit on this assumption. Yet, did you stop to think carefully about the fact that there are more than 24 official religions and hundreds of beliefs practiced on this planet? Do you know that Christianity includes more than 450,000 sects? All of them claim to understand the ultimate truth better than the rest. Do you realize that every member in a practiced belief is a pious and honest person just like you? 
Do you know that his faith is as firm as your faith? Do you know that they also read the sacred texts with certainty too? Do you know that they have confirmed justifications? They have known miracles beyond their measures and opinions. They feel the existence of God and his faint voice. They follow his perfect advice with obedience for their life. They love him in an indescribable way. They can also defend their belief in the same enthusiasm with which you defend your belief. You contradict with them about both the big and small issues. They cannot all be right. Is that not correct?